After Jenny, Rosé, and Lisa had basked in their own spotlights with three explosive solos, the eldest sister Jisoo finally made hers on March 31 with a single album, Me. Though being the last member to go solo, Jisoo gains the most attention from netizens for appearing too gorgeous in the MV Flower, giving everyone a visual shock and totally living up to her visual position of Blackpink. Unfortunately, alongside so many good things, Jisoo also got embroiled in lots of unexpected controversies that got everyone talking. And to be honest, these fusses are quite serious despite Jisoo is literally the least scandalous member in Blackpink. Have you guys caught up with that noteworthy news? If you haven't, there's nothing quite like staying until the end of this video to spill the tea with us. Let's come to the first recently hot debated news which is related to Jisoo's visual teaser being accused of Chinese cultural appropriation. So last week, as soon as her second visual teaser went on public release, it received a lot of compliments from many Korean newspapers. They praised the 1995-born female idol for skillfully integrating Korean traditional cultural details such as the stalking horse, the brooch, and the ink wash flower into her music product, helping to promote Korean traditional cultures to the world. With K-netizens, such promotion of Korean culture is a huge plus. However, Chinese netizens didn't think so and they've been bombarding Jisoo with lots of negative reactions. Accordingly, Chinese netizens claimed that the above symbols all belong to Chinese culture. They couldn't hide their frustration and believed that Jisoo and the Korean media had blatantly stolen Chinese culture. On Weibo, the keyword Jisoo's solo trailer controversy quickly appeared on top search with more than 100 million views and more than 8,000 discussions. Many Chinese bloggers enthusiastically uploaded posts comparing Chinese traditional items with things appearing in Jisoo's MV, which actually makes sense to a lot of people. For example, since the drawing on Jisoo's nails looks exactly like a Chinese ink wash painting, C netizens claimed that the producers had taken inspiration from these paintings to create Jisoo's nail art. And they felt offended when Korean fans said Jisoo was promoting Korean culture. In response to this allegation, many people say they are no strangers to the observation that Chinese people always claim everything to be their own. So this cultural self-identification is predictable. Moreover, since ancient times, the two cultures of Korea and China have significantly influenced each other. And China also had a policy of assimilation when this country was colonized before. So it is possible that ink wash paintings of the Duong dynasty were transferred to Korea by Zen masters and then it was adapted by Korean artists. So it's just cross-culture between the two countries. However, this opinion was immediately refuted by the majority of netizens saying that it's not a cultural influence. But a copy of the original artifact as ink wash paintings are truly a type of painting that originated in China, which was developed along with Chinese calligraphy. In fact, it's really difficult to judge as this is related to such a sensitive issue. However, from my perspective, cross-culture is an integral part of every country's history. Many countries in Asia have lots of things in common. Therefore, ink wash paintings' origins can be from China, but it could also be a part of Korean culture. What's more, this is truly more of a battle between the Korean and Chinese press, so dragging Jisoo into this whole thing is not fair for her. Next is another head-aching discussion also related to Blackpink. This time, it seems like a civil war is happening because some netizens claim that a member was treated unfairly by her own fans. At high chances, that is Jisoo. So everyone is spreading a photo of four flower bouquets that are said to be gifts for the four Blackpink girls during a concert in Manila, Philippines. Notably, one of the bouquets was found to have a difference in size and design compared to the other three. Many eagle-eyed netizens even noticed that the smallest bouquet didn't include a handwritten letter like the other three, which raises suspicion among international fans that there must be some unfairness happening here. Upon this, the Blinks community in the Philippines said people were just misunderstanding. They released photos to prove that all the bouquets are the same size. Unfortunately for them, the flower shop where the four bouquets were ordered proved the opposite. 
They published the bill and said that out of the four bouquets that Blackpink's fans ordered, there was a cheapest one which costs 9,299 pesos, about $171, because the fans have no request about any exclusive design but just give a simple condition that the flowers must be purple. Meanwhile, the other three bouquets seem to be favored when they are required to be customized in the shape of a sector. Therefore, the flower shop had to prepare a lot of flowers in advance, leading to the price being much more expensive, around 13,999 pesos or about $257. Unable to hold back their anger, many OT4 Blinks expressed their frustration believing that Jisoo is the one who was unfairly treated because purple is her favorite color. Fans say that if these so-called Blinks don't love all four members equally, then don't even call themselves Blinks. What they're doing just shows their unprofessional attitude and impoliteness towards Towards the idols. This is not the first time Jisoo got entangled in the suspicion of being discriminated against in Blackpink, with most reasons related to her alleged lack of skills and characteristics. Jisoo has gone a long way in the K-pop industry but after nearly 7 years, people still question her ability. Since Jisoo is the very last member to have a solo and she has expected this a lot, it's really sad to see her being treated like this. Well, today we're not just talking about bad news related to Jisoo as here is the spotlight of the video, which is for praising the impressive achievement of her solo comeback. According to YG Entertainment, on March 28, Jisoo's first single album, Me, surpassed 1.24 million pre-order sales in just three weeks. This has become the highest figure ever for a single album by a K-pop female solo artist in the history of South Korea. As we all know, the pre-order numbers of Rosé, Lisa, Jenny are very high, but they are said to be unable to hold a candle to Jisoo's. Three major Korean television stations including KBS News, MBS News, and SBS News have all reported on this admirable achievement of the Blackpink's eldest sister. Netizens constantly congratulated her on this attainment, saying that her hard work and waiting time have totally paid off. Her solo MV Flower also became the K-pop MV reaching the most views in the first 24 hours in 2023. In the MV, Jisoo appears super seductive and mysterious in many flattering luxury outfits along with her alluring visual and high taste in fashion style as well as makeup look. She's been gaining storms and compliments from netizens. Needless to say, Jisoo's solo is expected to be really successful and set a bunch of new records in the K-pop industry. So, what are your opinions about all the above controversies related to Jisoo? Was she really promoting Chinese cultural appropriation? And for what reason do you think she is said to receive the cheapest flower bouquet? Comment down below to share your thoughts with us. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Bboss TV for more interesting K-pop content. Thank you for watching.